What's going on, man? It's Serve Daddy Street Royalty Magazine live on location right now. Dude, I don't know what happened. It was on some kind of way. It started saying losing connection. <clears throat> Didn't like that. But we back. Once again, just in case you hadn't tuned in in the beginning, man, you can get yourself tuned back in right now. We in the lab. You know what we do. I can see things getting ready to pop, people getting ready to pop back in, but you know what we do. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. All right, now we back in the game in here, man. Like I said before, before we was rudely interrupted by uh, internet being weak or whatever the scenario was. But we got Russo in the lab, and we got my brother in here, special guest. We're going to talk about some hip-hop tonight. You cannot talk about hip-hop without having my brother Tookie in the place, man. You know what I'm saying? The hip-hop historian. Um, we're going to talk about it. Now, let's get back to where we was at. Brusso, what's been going on, man? Talk to me. Yeah, um, like I said, I was, uh, right now, I'm working on a mixtape uh, titled Six Summers Like Jigger. Uh, I'm calling it that because, like I said, uh, Jay-Z is my favorite rapper of all time. I think he's the greatest of all time. Just to throw that out there. It's going to be six songs. Drop it any day now. Uh, it's been ready. For a while, I'm just waiting on the engineer to, you know, send me back the files. When he sent them back to me, I send them to y'all. It's just that simple. Okay, okay. Now, listen, you know I got to ask you this, man, because the people going to want to know about this. So I know you're asking. I see you. What's up? What's up out there, Uncle Ray? See Molly out there, you know, watching. Um, why did you name the album EP Six Songs After Jig? Six Summers Like Jig. Six Summers Like Jig. Six um, Summers Like Jig. On the song, uh, the song on um, the blueprint, the blueprint one uh, song called "In the Heart of the City," I believe it was Jigga's second verse. He said, uh, "Jigga held it down six summers. Damn, where's the love?" So, uh, six summers was just in my mind. That was just a hot name. Like, yeah, six summers. That's hot. You know what I'm saying? I like that name. And at the time, it was crazy names being coming out, uh, named after mixtapes and stuff. Like Drake came out with the uh, "If You're Reading This Is Too Late." So. I mean, one day I was just playing like, man, I'm calling my tape, man, Six Summers Like Jigger. But when we was in the lab, you know, we kind of was like, no, that's that's kind of hot. We probably want to go with that. You know what I'm saying? So we just rock with it like that. And I'm like, I'm going to make it six songs. So I gave myself six days to write six songs, to record six songs. It was just all, it just all came together like that. So it's been done. It's just ready to go. Six summer, six days, six songs. That's what's up. That's what's up. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, a lot of times you ask people about what's going on, man. They can't explain nothing to you about nothing. So you want to know what it was. I got him in here. Here it is. That's what it is. So uh, I'm just thinking here that that, that you that Jay Z probably a, a big influence is, is, is musically. I mean, is, yeah. as far as that goes. Yeah, Jigga. I rock with Jigga. He's my favorite. He's the greatest in my opinion. Uh, you know, just that's my opinion. But uh. Uh, I, like I like anybody in, um, like really I get my my inspiration and stuff believe it or not it's like from like R&B music though I draw it from anywhere it could be from R&B music uh, 90's R&B uh, it could be Future it could be Adele it could be uh, the Fallout Boys I mean it could be a movie like that's where I draw that inspiration that motivation from it's just from everywhere honestly but uh, but Jay Z is definitely like I said that guy to me though that, you know, that, that's just being eclectic right there. When you talk about being able to draw from all types of music, that's just that's just being the eclectic. That's what that's what art really is. You give somebody a canvas, and uh, and they're gonna create. You know what I'm saying? So you got a canvas, and you you've been creating on that. Um, obviously, we know before he get out of here, we got a couple things we are gonna talk about today. A few things we just uh, decided we was gonna go into. But um, before he get out of here, not right now, not right now. But uh, I know you're waiting for it. But uh, before he get out of here, he gonna hit us with some bars. You can't come down to the lab and leave without leaving bars in here. Um, have you started putting together any like artwork, anything like that for the album? You got anything uh, in mind as, as far as that goes? Or is that something that's kind of a a little bit little bit more down the road for you? Yeah, no, I'm uh, I'm gonna do the artwork. I'm gonna release the artwork uh, probably about uh, a couple of days from now, maybe a week week tops. I release the artwork in the track list uh, for the six summers like Jigga. It's dope, you know what I'm saying? Be looking out for it. Follow my Facebook, uh, my Instagram, uh, Russo1000 to, uh, you know, see that. That's what's up. That's what's up. Here, listen. You know, it's, it's a few things. When you when you start talking artists, me, me you, when I'm online and I'm listening to somebody, and, and I'm listening to them, you know what I'm saying? Just like, uh, 
when, when it's, if the song don't make sense, again, like I said before, if your bars don't match the scars, I ain't even listening to you. You know, the bars got to match the scars. If I see you somewhere and you telling me that this is what's up and, and I know that you're not that, you can't even get no play for, you can't even get no play from me. You're definitely not on my playlist when it comes to something like that. Bars got to match the scars. Um, we know that you're into music. Um, I know you personally. I know you personally. You're my cousin, obviously. I, I know you personally. Um, you know, what's... How... You, you're a great father. Right. How, how was that? How, how has that influenced you musically? How has being a father influenced you musically? Um, I mean, I've put... Um, I've put, like, my children... Uh, I've referenced my children in my music before. When I look at them, you know what I'm saying, they, they draw, I draw motivation from there too, you know what I'm saying, looking at my kids and, you know what I'm saying, they, I wrote plenty of songs, some of my best songs came from, you know, after I'm playing with my son, playing with my daughter, uh, so yeah, definitely, that, that, that definitely played a part in my music too, for sure, and family period, honestly, just family period, my mama, like, uh, you know, I think I wrote well, some of my best verses, you know what I'm saying, after having deep conversations with my mom. So, you know, it's just it's just really family, period. Not even just me being a father, but just me being me. Just a, fa a, a family-oriented person. Yeah, you know, here, listen. When, when, to me, when I'm listening to people, I'm kind of following their stories. I see Looney on there. Loose is so loony. Listen, we getting it in. We gonna get it in soon. I'm talking about, hey, like, within the next couple of... Uh, I know, yeah. I know. Dude, say, listen. Say his name again. Look, Loose is so loony. Listen. Dope. He used to work with me, man. He worked yeah. with me when I was at uh at two different places, man. I know the man. I know the that man personally. Dope. He is he's mad though. We already talked about, about him being here, so we looking for him. Looking forward to getting you down here. I'm talking about like within. Uh, I'll reach back out to you, but I'm talking about like within the next uh within the next Friday or so. You know, definitely got to get a chance to get you down there. I was on the the man's cloud. music is dope. A week ago, yeah, that's oh, the first I ever heard him. Yeah, no, he he dope. He, he dope. Did, he killed yeah. it. He, he dope. killed it. He dope. He killed it. Ridiculous. You know, I, 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 yeah. admit, I, I looked at him when I seen him. We was talking. I said, "Dude, you a star, bro. You a star. You may not know it yet, but you are a star. But the man's drive is there. So yeah. we gotta, yeah. we gotta get in there. And every time we get somebody down here, man, listen, it's all about politicking. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It's all yeah. about politicking. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? It's it, here. Listen. Not because these cats is my cousins, but because they like some of the sickest that's out there. And it's just what it is. You know, if it's anything different, put the bars on the table. You know what I'm saying? Bring your bars to the table, and, and, and we'll see what it do. So, uh, yeah, no, he most definitely most definitely dope. So we definitely going to have him down here in the lab. And uh, he going to leave some bars before he leave. It ain't no doubt about it. We already talked about it. Check him out, too. Yeah, oh, no doubt he's sick. You got to check him you out. You heard him? No, I, I don't believe I yeah. have. Listen, yeah. maybe, maybe, maybe when we bring him down, y'all can fall back, too. Yeah, oh, when yeah. he come down, y'all can fall back oh, through. I meet this dude. He most definitely dope, dude. man. He most He's most sick, definitely man. dope. Most He's definitely sick. dope. So we we definitely gonna uh, we most definitely gonna get a chance to make that happen. When you come down, we gonna bring. It's gonna be just the way it is right now. We gonna we gonna bring Bruce or my and my brother back down here again, and uh, <laughs> y'all get a chance to meet. You know what I'm saying? Modulate together, man. After we listen to music or whatever, might get a chance to um. Might get a chance to uh, collaborate in some form or fashion. It's all about politics and networking. So, uh, and here, every time I listen to somebody talking, for the more, majority of the time I listen to them, I never hear nobody talk about, you know what I'm saying, some of these serious, some of the serious influences that they got, man. What family done for them, man. What they, you know, how their kids are. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, that's what's up. That's what's up. I'm going to hit you up, and we're going to make it happen. There's no doubt about it. I'm going to hit you up. We're going to make that happen soon. I'm looking forward to it. Um, just hearing that, you know, these days having fathers in the picture, you know what I'm saying, you know, doing their music, got the family done inspired them, you know, they doing it for, uh, you know, for another reason, and, uh, you know, that's what's up, you know, I always say that I hustle for my last name, not for my first, Irvin's, the Levi Irvin's is only gonna be here for a moment, you know, but the Irvin's last name will live forever, last name, so, uh, listen, right now, is the time that you have been waiting for. Because we're going to go into something else. We, we, no, we not. I'm just teasing you. It ain't happening right now. We're going to talk about something first real quick, man. Who been watching 
you know, who been keeping up with this, uh, with, with Soldier Boy and Chris Brown, man? I was watching this the other day. He talking about lack, 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 lack. You know, he dumping or whatever. People dying. You know what I'm saying? No, I, I ain't in. But I seen the interview that they had with Jason Lee. It was Floyd Mayweather, Jason Lee, and uh, and Soldier Boy. And you know, after I listened to everything, you know, I gotta tell you something. I listened to what Soldier Boy had to say. He he actually made some sense, but I think that Chris Brown is more of an athlete, and and he gonna beat that ass if they have a fight in the ring. <laughs> That's what, I, I I think he's much more of an athlete than Soldier Boy is. So just going on the fact that I think he's much more of an athlete, I'm taking Chris Brown in that fight because they're supposed to be fighting. Yeah. What's up with that? You was what? Was you watching it or what? Was y'all checking yeah, it out? Yeah, I, yeah. I checked it out. Yeah, yeah. It's all clown shit to me, honestly, man. Real talk. All, 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 Real all, talk. This shit clown shit to me, man. Like, man, man just that's it's just it's too much shit. I got too me personally. I just got too much shit going on, man. I don't even. I'm not into that type of stuff, man. I watched it. It was funny, but I just left it alone. But I mean, I do think Chris Brown can whoop his ass, though. You that dude be dance. dancing and shit. He got the moves. He gonna. Oh no doubt, no ass, doubt, man. no doubt. My man in Taker's doing parkour and shit, jumping over <laughs> yeah, stuff. Man, the man gonna... is in shape. Yeah. The man is in shape. Relative. To Soldier Boy, got nothing yeah. against Soldier Boy, but man, but Chris Brown is in shape relative to him. There's no doubt about it. If the fight go down, Floyd, listen, Floyd know how to get money. Yeah. Floyd know how to get money. You know, uh, it, it to me it's all clown stuff, but uh, Floyd know how to get money. When you bring Floyd into the picture, you sit Jason Lee down and they have a conversation about it. Um, Floyd talking about, you know, listen, it's gonna take place. It's gonna take place in L.A. Uh, so if the fight going down, the Floyd in. I'm going to check it out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to yeah. check it out. Chris Brown is going to beat that ass. Definitely going to watch it if they fight, though. Definitely, definitely going to watch it. Just right. some other stuff going on. Yeah, like, no, save it, no, no doubt. No doubt. No doubt. Man, dude, Soldier Boy was like, yeah, man, the dude came in, you know, yeah. loud, loud. You know, I said, dude, come on, man. Stop it. Stop it. Bars ain't matching them scars. You know what I'm saying? Bars ain't matching them scars. But anyway, I'm going to check it out. I'm going to check it out. Let me see. No doubt, I agree. I agree 100%. I agree 100% with that. No, no doubt. Fronting for sure. No doubt about it. I believe that. Uh, so that that was some kind of some weird shit. The last thing that I want that I want to talk about right here. Now listen, I come from a different generation slightly than my cousin do here, and he said something. I got to talk on it now. You know, but listen, everybody got an opinion. There's absolutely no doubt about it. Everybody got to have opinion. I was talking to some other cats the other day about some of the, you know, the greatest, greatest MCs of all time, and uh, bar for bar. Now a lot of you cats ain't even, you know, I, I think I'm going too deep for a lot of y'all, unless you true hip hop heads. One of the sickest, one of the sickest MCs of all time, one of the sickest, bar for bar, lyrically, lyrically, is Grandmaster Melly Mel. Now. That was before you was born. You may have no clue of who Grandmaster Melly Mel is. But just in case you have no clue of who Grandmaster Melly Mel is, look up, uh, look up, um, I mean, you can talk message if you want to, but you can also look up this one joint called Beat Street Breakdown. Dope. Dope. Look up Grandmaster Melly Mel, listen to them bars, and then talk to me about one of the greatest, uh, greatest lyricists of all time. Now, if we want to bring it up a little bit more to date, I'm going to drop cats out like Rock Hill. You know, the R to the A to the K I am. If he wasn't, why would I say I am? <laughs> so, i got to go with Rock Hill, you know what I'm saying, when it, when, when it comes to, uh, I'm going to go with Rock Hill when it comes to something like that, man. That's that's just me. You know, you start talking about some of the, some y'all have already seen my top ten list, man. You've already seen my list. Uh, you start talking about some of those, that's, that's, that's it. You know, Biggie Nice. I see people saying Biggie. Biggie Nice. I mean, is he is he rock him nice? Not to me. That's just me. Is he rock him nice? Nah, not to me. You know, not bar for bar. But that's something left for another conversation, man. We done done that plenty of times, and uh, we can get back into it again. I tell you something. I just started. I, I just started listening to uh, to Kevin Gates not too long ago, man. I just started listening to Kevin Gates. That really, really off the chain and two phones. Yeah. Bang it. You know what I'm saying? I just started looking to the cat. Cat, an interesting dude, man. Interesting dude. Listen, if y'all want to talk hip-hop, man, link up with me. If you're a true hip-hop head or whatever, you might find yourself down here in the lab and we'd be talking about it. It's what it is. 
But now is the time. I'm gonna even move around for this. Now is the time. We getting ready to hear them bars. I'm gonna move around. For this. Look. Northern Lights just finally completed. You know you dope when your words enlighten the genius. Man, I had you niggas beat way before I was a fetus. So since the day I was born, you niggas was defeated. I love my mama so much, I cry when I think about her. And I ain't gonna lie, man, I probably couldn't do a thing without her. What would I be without her? Probably someone kicking the flowers or doing the bit from shooting at friendly cowards. And even now, my weakest hour, I'm stronger than all of y'all. Armor raw, arm and hammer, cooking dope in my pajamas. Here's a phone that you can call me on. I used to network with niggas that didn't want me on. But now I'm here so I can't complain I make niggas just disappear like I'm David Blaine Pull up in something so severe, switching lane to lane I mean nothing's never secure, even I ain't the same I had to change for the better, changing the weather Eating fools that I can't pronounce, I guess I ate whatever Flying places I shouldn't have been, like where the fuck we land? Shit is crazy, last year I could barely touch a band Now was drum sets for them niggas on the other side Dumb checks for my motherfucking entourage Gut checks in this bitch, you know they gon' ride Yeah and I can feel it inside, success coming in is killing they pride Niggas hate when they can't fuck with you Pray on your downfall and hope the feds come get you I guess it's hard to watch a nigga from the bottom make it I came from whipping that hard, shout out to Ronald Reagan I roll regals, now a nigga riding presidential Look, I got Barack on speed dial, the block on redial The rocks and the watch is OD now I think you see now, dog. That's how that shit go, man Six summers like Jigga, man, soon, any day now, be ready, homie